I've got this challenge at the moment where I've got to create a gabled wall that's made out of slats, and I wanted to show you a really quick way to do it. So what I've got, I've got a couple of choices, don't forget, that I could use something like the taper face tool, and I could select the back face and I could taper that at the right angle, which is about 30 degrees, I think. So let's make that 30 degrees taper, which is okay for doing one object, but for doing a whole gable end of a building, that's not really an option. I want to use a couple of three-dimensional concepts. There's three that I'd like to talk about. Add solid, subtract solid, and intersect solid. Add solid is where you take two three-dimensional shapes, right-click, add solids, and you can see it's taken the first shape and the second shape, and it's added them together. So where the volume overlaps, it's the entire object is now is joined together. If you double-click, you can go back and you can edit those objects, and you can move them around relative to each other, and that works fine. The other option is to use subtract solids, and this is where it takes one object away from the other. You can take several objects away, but one object is left as the base object. That's the one that's highlighted in red. And you can use these arrows to choose which is the base object. So that's taken my cylinder, is now taken a hole through the other part. And again, if you double click on the result, you can go back and edit it. But the one that I really want to use in this case is probably the intersect solid, where it finds the overlapping volume of these two objects, a bit like a three-dimensional Venn diagram. And so what you're getting is the two objects where they overlap in 3D space. And if I just render that, maybe if I turn on the edges, you'll see that a little bit easier. So there's my object. So that's where the two volumes overlap. And I think this is a really good one for doing what I need to do. So here's my situation. And I've got a whole lot of these horizontal slats. And then I've also got this extrusion in the back here. Now the trick is, and there's actually a step you've got to go through first, and the trick is to select all of those framing members first, and I know they don't touch each other, I know this sounds odd, but if you add those together, it creates one solid addition. Then select your extrusion as well, that's my extrusion which is the shape of the hole in my object, select my horizontal slats, and then intersect solids. And it's a really quick way of cutting all of those horizontal objects in one go so that they exactly match that gable end. I've also got another challenge in here in that I've got this object here which should be a polyline. Let's zoom in so that I can select that. It's quite hard to see because it's hiding behind everything. So that's my polyline. I need to extrude that. Let's make it uh, 18 inches. And then I can subtract that from all of my horizontal slats using my, subtra my subtract solids. And that's a way to create the correct hole for, those, for that door on the window away from those horizontal slats. So there's that, just that little trick that you've got to do where in order to use those horizontal objects, you've got to add them together using add solids before you can use the, the clipping volume that overall gable end. But this is a really quick way to do it. Now, now, what would happen if we needed to adjust this in some way? Double click on that. That brings me to this object. Double click on that. Takes me to that object. Double click on that. That's my original extrusion. So let's edit that a little bit. Let's exit our extrusion. Exit our solid. And you can see what I've got now. I've got a new shape for the edge, for the edge of that part of the object. So this intersect solids is a very quick way of creating these complex shapes. Thank you for watching. For the leader in Vectorworks training and manuals, visit learn.archoncad.com.